in this video, what I have for y'all today is I'm going to go over with a torque wrench bike setup that's kind of like a e-bike slash bicycle motorcycle or actually just a torque wrench in general. From someone that comes from manufacturing, I've used a lot of torque wrenches. So when I received this, I actually wasn't expecting much until I got it and put it to the use. Let me show you guys exactly what you get when you order one of these torque wrenches. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of go over it with you real quick. What you're going to get is a set of instructions and the instructions will cover basic maintenance and how to use it. Obviously don't use your torque wrench as a hammer. This is a precision instrument. Kind of goes over with how to set this thing up, how to unlock it and lock it. So I already know how to do it because I've used it and I put it back in the case to show you guys. So let's set these aside. Another thing it comes with, it comes with a calibration scale. So a lot of these things, what a lot of people don't know with torque wrenches, you need to get them calibrated. This already comes calibrated straight out of the factory. The range is two to 14 Newton meters. The accuracy is plus or minus 0.05%. So that's a really good range. That's an acceptable range on a torque wrench of this caliber. Let me go ahead and get the wrench out for you real quick. So going over the wrench here, I'm gonna show you guys real quickly on how to use it. What you're gonna do, you're gonna use this locking mechanism, pull this down, and when that's pulled down, you can scroll, you can turn this end piece right here and you can go all the way down from two newton meters all the way up to 14. So it has a two to 14 newton meters. This is not in pounds. This is in newton meters and this is a metric set. You can do a conversion. There's conversion tables out there on how to do from newton meters to pounds per square inch. But you know what, this is fine because a lot of these e-bikes are usually metric anyway. So a lot of the metric specs are gonna be in, you know, the NM rating. You can see there's also small increments. So now I'm at 5.08 newton meters. I'm set it push that up now it's locked it will not be adjusted and then you have the knob here which is this knob is to put the bits on so that's quarter inch right there ratcheting those are all quarter inch they'll go on there so any type of quarter inch socket set will also work on this and now it's locked in there i always like a a ratchet that has a locking head on it like that so you can see to remove it you mash that down and that removes it and then there is a left and a right but just so you guys know you should only use a torque wrench for torquing down you shouldn't remove use torque wrenches for going backwards you can use it to kind of test to see if something's like loose but I would not, me personally, I would not advise using a torque wrench going in the reverse counterclockwise setting. It's only made for going in clockwise, which is, you know, going to the right, it would be torquing things down. So yeah, just to give you a, a point on Right that. away, you know, I was actually impressed that how solid this thing feels. It has a very premium solid feel for the price. I was shocked on how well this thing felt. I actually, looking at the pictures, I kind of thought it might've been plastic. Those are engraved, those are not printed on. So that's an engravement marking, maybe laser etched in right there on that. So this is a 16, technically a 17 piece set. If you count the little extension piece with it, three different Phillips head settings, only one single flat head. From your Torx bit, you got everything from a, a T10 Torx up to a T30, which is pretty standard. I have used my bike, on my bike, I used everything here. That goes into like the crankcase, which is always, that's something kind of, you know, unusual because that's an H8. Actually, these four are what you're gonna use mostly on a, any type of bicycle. There are some small components from time to time that I might use that on, like the hand grips have a very small one. On these e-bikes especially, a lot of the components need a certain spec per each bolt. So every now and then, and you don't wanna over tighten them because steel bolt going into aluminum, you don't wanna just sit there and crank away on it because you'll you'll actually bust the threads out and you'll destroy the threads and you have to re tap it. Like say about every two weeks, if I'm riding a lot, I'll go through and just check all the key components. Kind of the things that are real important, you wanna make sure they're up to spec. And what it is, you can just use a normal wrench and just guesswork it and tighten down. But it's good to know that, okay, each one of these bolts are at 12 Newton meters a piece. I know they're all exactly the same. So that's always a good thing to have if you wanna kind of go over and test every single bolt and make sure it's up to spec. And one of the things that will help along with that is a torque wrench set like this. So let's um, let's go ahead and check the rest of our bolts and let's get to riding today. So yeah, thanks a lot everybody. Thanks for watching and I will uh, catch you guys on the trail. Woo!